everybody, I'm Starlord. Yes, I am wearing my own merch. There will be a video about that sometime soon because I know that some of you guys are gonna be like, what is that? What are you doing? Uh, yes, if you do want to buy a hoodie or a t-shirt or something with my logo on it, then head down to the description. But anyway, let's get into the video at hand. Today, we're going to be looking at four new Pokemon that most likely will be added into Pokemon Brick Bronze in the next, I would say, around about a month. Or maybe three weeks. I don't know. That's just like my assumption. But there are new confirmed Pokemon that are going to be coming to Pokemon Brick Bronze. And these are three legendary Pokemon and also one mythical. Now I know some of you guys may already know this information as I am kind of late on it, but I was out on the weekend with my friends drinking. So yeah, I was kind of too hungover to do anything. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, on screen right now you will see a tweet from an official Pokemon Brick Bonds uh, developer called Kevin Cat Singh, and he says, coming soon to a Brick Bronze near you. Smiley face. And uh, there it is right there, guys. That is an official 3D model of Terrakion. I, th I believe that's the way you pronounce it. And he is actually my favorite Pokemon out of the Swords of Justice. Like, he just looks like a beast. He's like Entai, you know? And uh, yeah, so that was like on the May 19th, he tweeted that out. So that was like a couple of days ago now. And uh, very interesting information indeed, because like, you know, it's pretty much, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get a roundabout uh, at least three new encounters or three new legendaries to track down in the new update. And that's very, very awesome indeed. Uh, and I've been waiting for these Pokemon to be added for such a long time because I really, really love the Swords of Justice. I believe that it's probably one of the better design choices of Pokemon. Like, all of the other legendaries kind of lo look a bit meh. But then these guys came out and I was like, wow, they remind me of Entai and uh, Suicune, Soy Sauce, I guess. And uh, uh, yeah, I was like, wow, these look pretty, these look pretty awesome. Uh, so anyway, that was the first tweet he actually did. And then around about like 20 minutes later or something like that, another uh, Twitter follower actually like tweeted out um, some more designs. And uh, one of them was uh, Keldeo. He tweeted out Keldeo the Rookie. Uh, hashtag Roblox dev. Now, I'm assuming that this old school dude, he is the guy who created the rest of the designs because he is the guy who tweeted out the rest of them. So, I'm assuming that Kevin Cat created one design and the other dude did all of the next three. Uh, so, as you can see, there is Keldeo and he is actually going to be the mythical Pokemon. He is actually a part of the Swords of Justice, but he is like being trained up by the other three. And uh, he's kind of like, you know, he's a hothead. He's, he's, he's just a noob. He's a noob basically but he is a very awesome mythical and he also has an alternative form and it looks very very cool uh, but we'll see that later on in the game I'm sure uh, and then also we have a uh, Ver Verizion I believe it is or Verizon I I'm not really too sure about that one but look at him he looks so awesome god he is also one of my favorite Pokemon's like it's such an awesome design choice that Pokemon went with and these 3D models look pretty good too I'm not gonna lie and then of course the last of the Swords of Justice is um Cobalion? 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 I, I, I don't really know. I'm terrible at pronouncing Pokemon names uh, but yeah he tweeted out this one and I was like wow that looks pretty pretty cool. He is like kind of the leader of the Sword of Justice. I don't know, he's the more worthy person, I guess, because in the movie, he's actually very outspoken against Kale 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 Keldeo, uh, going to fight one other legendary Pokemon. I can't really remember which Pokemon he wants to take down, but he wants to take down some Pokemon, and Kobolion's like, listen, you're a noob, kid. Calm down, man. Just take it easy. Relax, dickity. But anyway, um, so there you have it, guys. There's four new Pokemon that have been confirmed, possibly for the next Port Deca update. As you guys know, like I said, Port Deca is most likely going to be the next update where we'll be able to explore a kind of new route. I guess it's going to be a route. I don't know whether it'll actually be a town. Maybe it will. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but still, very interesting indeed anyway, and I just cannot wait to actually encounter these Pokemon. Now, one thing that has really kind of got a bit repetitive with Pokemon Brick Bronze, and I know why they do it, but I kind of wish they wouldn't do it for this uh, Pokemon. So, as you guys probably know, 
every, near enough every mythical you come across, you can actually soft reset to get a shiny version of it. And uh, yeah, that's been like that for uh, Diancy, uh, Jirachi, Victini, you know, they're all mythical Pokemon and you can reset until you get a shiny version of them. I would actually really like to see that all of those Pokemon, all four of the Swords of Justice, are able to be found in the wild without being able to be soft resetted. Now, I know a lot of people probably won't like me saying that because you guys like to have shiny legends or shiny mythicals, but I don't know, I just feel like it makes it a little bit better when you're trying to hunt for so long for these Pokemon. It just makes it kind of cool. It makes the game last longer too. You know, if you, if basically they let you catch legendaries and mythicals very easily just by encountering them uh, very easily in a cave it kind of makes the update less special you know it kind of makes it go quicker and uh, i would really like to see that all of these pokemon flee to the wild like you cannot catch them then and there uh, but yeah, very interesting news indeed guys. I do hope that you enjoy uh, This video and I do hope that you are very excited for these four awesome Pokemon to be added into the Pokemon Brick Bronze game uh, I will have an analysis on each of these Pokemon in the next couple of days Basically everything you need to know about uh, Terrakion, uh, everything you need to know about Keldeo and so on and so forth uh, I hope that you guys will Keep a lookout for those videos, uh, turn on the notification bell just so that you never miss a video. And uh, yeah, anyway guys, have an awesome day and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.